Sisters, we come together to celebrate the sacred mysteries, asking God for more blessings for us and our family. We offer this Mass too for all our own intentions, especially for the intention for this Mass. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we recall to mind our sins and be sorry for them. I confess to Almighty God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Son, the King of the universe, 
Grant we pray that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Table before 
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who subjected everything to him, so that God may be all in all. The word of the Lord. Be Jesus Christ, the King, the King of Kings. 
but he's gonna live forever, so it's kind of mundane. This beautiful gospel, the last two Sundays, we've heard about the uh, ten virgins, five were ready, five were not. The other Sunday, we heard about the master giving talents to his servants, and two of them increased them, and one hid it. The constant message that we are getting is about the end of times, about being ready when the time comes. And since we don't know when the time will come, we need to be ready. We can't mark a date and say, I'm going to start being good from this day on. I'm going to start doing right from this day on. We have to be ready. We have the King of Kings, Christ the King, calling to us constantly, constantly. Through scripture, he speaks to us through our friends, to our families, and to our hearts. And we know constantly, we know right from wrong. And we are supposed to do right, we're supposed to choose right. But the secular world is always tempting us to go back the other way. It's a constant fight that we have. We want, we want to be crowned, we want, we want our crown in heaven, do we want to live with the Lord Jesus Christ? Then we have to do something about it. It's not automatic. It's not automatic. And it's not easy sometimes. As a matter of fact, sometimes it's very difficult. How much more difficult did the Lord hang on the cross? He's got a crown, it's a crown of thorns. He's got a throne, his throne is the cross. The only scepter he has was the reed that the soldiers put in his hands when they were mocking him. The only wardrobe he had was that, I think it was a horse's saddle uh, blanket that they threw over his shoulders. That was the king. That was the earthly king. And funny thing is that the Israelites, they were looking for that earthly king. They thought God was going to come down with the angels, destroy the Romans, set his throne down here on the earth, it's going to be heaven on earth. Not so. Not so. Heaven is after we die. When we receive communion, we are receiving Christ the King. In our hand or in our tongue, we are receiving Christ the King. How many of us here besides me are retired? I know there's more than that. Don't be ashamed. There's nothing wrong with being retired. I'm proud of it. The only bad thing about being retired is you never have a day off. But every Monday is a weekend. So, adoration. When we have adoration every day, we are adoring Christ the King. So, I often wonder I've had the great opportunity. I finally accomplished something in my life that I want to do for the longest time. I am a daily communicant. I receive communion every single day. And every single day, I visit the Blessed Sacrament. Either at St. Peter's, where I drop my kids off, or over here. We should not have one or two people in the, same, in the chapel to worship during the day. We should have a lot more people than that. If you truly believe Christ the King is there, we should have more people there. We should have more people at Saturday morning Mass, an extra Mass during the week, to receive Christ the King, if we believe. That's the problem, see? That's, that's the, the stumbling block that we have. We believe sometimes to a certain point, I will do up to this. We don't dare to take that extra step and get a little bit closer. Because the more you receive, the more you study, the more you pray, the more God talks to you and tells you what he wants from you. And sometimes we're afraid of that, aren't we? We're afraid of being told something that, hmm, I don't want to do that. I bought one of my t-shirts from, from Dolly. It says, I think Pope Benedict said it, ask Jesus what he wants from you and let him be afraid. Chances are he's going to ask you to do something that you really don't want to do. But if we really believe Jesus, the King, Christ the King, we will do it for him. 
Who can deny a request from Jesus? We are asked to step closer to him, to come a little bit closer, to make it, maybe make an extra mess during the week. Maybe if we're retired, during, there's a couple of slots during the day that are not covered, so somebody has to come from the office to cover it, because the Blessed Sacrament cannot be left alone when it's exposed. Quickly, call up the office and say, what slot do you have? And come and spend an hour with the Lord Jesus Christ? Could we get up Saturday morning? Oh, it's not a day to sleep. And come and receive the blessed Lord Jesus Christ? Even during the week, we have 11.30 Mass on Tuesday and Friday. Couldn't we make that effort to come to the 11.30 Mass and receive Christ the King? It's an effort. It's an effort. But the closer you come to Him, there's a certain peace that you find yourself walking with. No matter what happens, there's a certain peace that comes to you that nobody can take it away from you. Do we dare get closer? Do we dare take that extra step closer to Him? Do we dare to open our ears and our eyes to see what He wants us to do? He won't send us an email. He won't text us. A lot of times it could be somebody coming to you and say, hey, could you do this? That's the way he communicates with us. Sometimes it comes directly into our hearts, into our minds, and he puts a thought in there. Are we open to it? Or do we say, no, I can't do that. It's not for me. I'm uncomfortable doing that. I don't have what it takes. We make excuses constantly. We make excuses not to do what he asks of us when it's something we don't want to do. And we make excuses not to get closer to him. Christ the King. Christ the King crucified. Crucified, tortured and crucified for us. And if I have a chance to receive him every day, I am going to receive him every day. When we were in Europe, every time we passed the Catholic Church, of course we were on pilgrimage, We'd stop in and visit Blessed Sacrament. He's there. He's all over the world. Do we dare take that step a little bit closer to the Lord and get find out what He wants from us? And as I said before, we will find out how much He loves us when we get that inner peace that comes into our hearts. And you can't deny it, it's there. You feel this calmness in your life. Doesn't mean you're not going to ask him to do something. You know, not. He's going to ask you to do something. But you're going to do it with peace. You're going to do it willingly. You're going to do it lovingly. For Christ the King. Amen. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father for all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, not substantial in the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate in the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. Amen. Amen. Striving always to be open to Jesus, 
so he might become more and more the Lord and ruler of our lives. Let us join in offering our prayers to our loving Father in heaven. For all members of the church, may we resolve to be open to Jesus so he may become more and more each day the King and ruler of our lives and our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord our Lord. Lord. For world leaders, may they imitate the kingship of Christ, which is characterized by service and charity, and so bring about a more just and peaceful society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who are suffering from any kind of spiritual, physical, or emotional illness, may they turn to God for strength, solace, and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For members of this faith community, may we share the fruits of spirit, peace, gentleness, and joy with one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our nation, that we may heed the gospel's call to reform our lives by ending the practices of abortion, euthanasia, and capital punishment, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our beloved dead and all who have died, may they come to join the saints and angels in singing God's praises for all eternity in heaven, especially Omar Zarzulia, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for Anna and Antimo, Dear Gusto, for whom this man suffered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, look kindly upon the requests which we humbly bring before you, and grant them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The prayers for this Mass are Jenny Avila and Chris Cohen. Second collection of today's for capital maintenance and Christmas flowers.
and brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the world and the Church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human right is, is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son Himself may bestow on all nations the gift of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with an oil of gladness and eternal priest and king of all creation as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace and making all created things subject to his rule he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom a kingdom of truth and life a kingdom of holiness and grace a kingdom of justice love and peace and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we are great. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servants Anna and Antimo the Agostino, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, to the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of the Lord's peace.
Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorifying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Kindly open the inside back cover of your music hymnal. Together we pray the per anima Christi. So Christ sanctify me, by Christ save me, blood of Christ be me, water of the Son of Christ wash me, passion of Christ strengthen me, holy Jesus hear me, redeem your wounds and save me, do not permit me to be parted from you, for the evil call of the me, and the hour of my death call me, and make me come to you, who raise you to all my sins, forever and ever. Amen. Kindly be seated for a few announcements. Time flies. Next week is going to be the first Sunday of Advent. And uh, we will start it on uh, with a penance service. Our penance service will be December 14th. So next week we will be lighting and blessing the Advent wreath here in the church. The Spanish Advent retreat is also next Saturday, December 2nd, from 9 o'clock in the morning to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. All are welcome. To attend. The Council of Catholic Women St. Nick's Dinner is next Sunday, December 3rd. If you need assistance with Christmas gifts for children, please pick up an application in the parish office or talk to any of the CCW for more of this. Um, Friday, December the 8th is the feast day of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It is a holiday, one holy day of obligation. Mass times are at 8 o'clock in the morning, 11.30 in the morning, and 7 o'clock in the evening. It's also in the bulletin for your reminder. The youth have several fundraisers, including a lantern for a luminary dedication at the 7 o'clock Mass on the Immaculate Conception. And outside, I think Dolly is also there, selling those Catholic gear apparels. It's very beautiful, very good for gifts. That you can give it to others. Also, they have flavored biscotti. Uh, this is different, unique, because this is made by uh, some religious congregation. So it's a holy biscotti. <laughs> you're gonna be holy when you're drinking coffee and dunking that. It's gonna be awesome. And we have tasted it. It's it's good. It's good. So it's outside there. It's also good for gift giving. So uh, uh, patronize it. And we also have the Keep, Christ, Keep Christ in Christmas car magnets. And they're all available at the back. I mean, the car magnets, it's, it's beautiful to be able to have that in your car. It reminds others of what's the reason for the season. So it's good if you don't have it yet, it's good to check that out after Mass today. The reader workbooks for 2000, I think it's 2017, are now available. 2018. Wow, I'm even late. <laughs> but I was reading here 2016. <laughs> That's even, even late. So it's 2018. Um, this is not an expired workbook. So <laughs> it's the new one, brand new, 2018. And readers, please pick one up at the church office. And also, this is special for me too. Please support the uh, projects of the Anuin Foundation. It supports the indigent children in the Philippines. We have 300 something, 375 children being held in the Philippines. And I started this many years ago, 13 years ago, and we have already graduates for this one. Those who have benefited from this for the longest time. We would not be able to continue working for the poor without your help. We will have a fundraising concert, and uh, it would be at the shrine of. Uh, the Basilica of Our Lady of Queen of the Universe down in Orlando. It's going to be on December 15th at 5, door opens at 5.30 in the afternoon with hors d'oeuvres uh, served by Magianos and also the concert starts at 7 o'clock in the evening. Uh, tickets are available uh, at the full, at the Nartex with Miss Pat Daly, who's a poster for uh, if you want to buy some tickets. 
And if you just want to give a donation because you can attend, we also welcome your donations uh, for the Adawin Foundation. Again, in advance, thank you for all your support. We will be starting today the pilgrimage to the Holy Land, the real one, and, uh, and Rome and other parts of Italy, and I have with me the pilgrims. May I ask them to please stand? Please extend your hand over them and us and me. And, uh, and we pray for all the pilgrims. They will be praying for us and for the community. All powerful God, you always show mercy toward those who love who love you and who are never far and are never far away from those who seek you. Remain with your servants on this holy pilgrimage. Guide their way in accord with your will. Shelter them with your protection by day. Give them the light of your grace by night. And as their companion in their journey, bring them to their destination safely. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May I request our communion ministers to the sick to come forward? My dear sister, you are sent from this assembly to bring the word of God and the bread of life to the sick and homebound. Assure them the first and support of this community and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And our vocations crucifix will go to Mike Weber. Mike will be praying for vocations for the priesthood, permanent diaconate, and for all married couples, most especially for our seminary in Francisco, and also for our deacon candidates, Dominic and Hector. Mike, may your prayers very much for you. Thank you. Father, the lecture schedules and minister of communion schedules are available. They are also available at the lectures and ministers of communion. Just go to the sacristy ministry room after mass and check your schedules. Please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Glorify the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God. I will request our Perkins to stay in the front of the picture taking uh, during the recessional song.